Um, oh, but the magic here is that we can feel. This is our aliveness. And the beauty of my experience of having some time away in the mountains, by the sea, traveling through the Lake District, pausing, soaking up the majesty. Where I'm staying now, if I look out of one window, the river is literally at the end of the garden, or it's a little garden, and there's trees and mountains out of this window. And this is aliveness for me. So even if it's a tough day, I welcome all parts of you to be in amongst this aliveness, this gift of being here now. And yes, mixed emotions of gratitude, hope and some slight anxiety. And this is the incredibleness, is there such a word, of being fully human. So, my friends, that said, let us drop into our welcoming of our aliveness, welcoming to what's here, into this moment. And maybe we will soften into our own unique experience of peacefulness or feeling peace. Maybe just resting quietly is enough. So let's close our eyes. Noticing what you need, some more water. Enjoying the breath. And if breathing is tricky for you, just Perhaps allow the breath to be as gentle as you can. Perhaps placing your hands over your heart or your lungs. Any part of the body that requires some support, some comfort, perhaps some reassurance, then give yourself that now as you take some more soothing, cleansing breath. And if you're new here, please know that there is no particular formula as to how to practice. This is your invitation to be here now. Holding yourself with tenderness and compassion. As best you can. And the best way to open to this as a possibility is to notice what's here right now. I'm noticing that my breath still wants to deepen some more. I'm noticing my feet are feeling more rooted to the ground already. I'm noticing there's some chattering, some twittering in my head, sort of just outside of my head. I wonder if I can allow that to be here without getting involved in any of the stories of that twittering. Now, if you're practiced in mindful self-compassion, you will know how to settle yourself. Continue Inviting the mind, body, heart to settle.
And if this practice is still quite new to you, keep exploring and noticing, well, what is it that's here that would like attention? Perhaps another sip of water. Perhaps, perhaps a readjustment of the spine. Giving yourself what you need in this moment to invite a sense of settling. I'm simply noticing what's here for you now. You gently invite your heart to open, your mind to settle into your heart and your body to hold steady. Inviting all Parts of you to rest now. And as you become a little quieter. Perhaps you can begin noticing the whisper of your heart's desire. Perhaps a gentle calling towards a sense of quiet, stillness. Peace. And of course, we know the mind comprehends through contrast. So as we invite peace, quiet and stillness in, we may begin to notice everything unlike peace, quiet and stillness. I have the ticking of a clock, wearing of my laptop, the sounds of life outside, the clicking of the fire as the metal spans. Notice the sensations in my body. Everything unlike 
is find stillness. And I wonder, can we make space for them all? Create a warm welcome through the blue quiet system. What if we gently let go of any expectations and the desired outcome? Letting go of any effort to simply rest in this compassionate embrace of peace and quiet stillness. Of course, your mind has wandered, and maybe is telling some stories. Invite the mind to 
to return to the stillness. Perhaps to give the mind a job to be curious about the stillness, this peace, this quiet. I wonder what it feels like. Standing at the foot of a mountain, surrounded by these natural giants, fills me with deep sense of peace, awe and wonder. That's my awareness. And whilst I'm not sitting at the base of a mountain in this moment, I wonder can I guide my mind to a place of peace, whatever that might feel like. To be a gentle movement towards stillness. Gentle, <clears throat> gentle sense of ease. Or surrendering. Letting go of the oars. Assuring the mind that we're not trying to manufacture quiet stones. We're simply opening our hearts to the possibility of resting for a while. This moment.
and returning again to this gentle intention. Responding compassionately with resistance arises. If everything unlike peace arises in your awareness, in your senses, returning again and again to your loving, tender heart, and this compassionate, loving, kind wish for stillness. Quiet. For peace. And if everything feels out of reach in this moment, simply resting on the rhythm of your breath. Gently in and gently out. Simply resting as we listen to these soothing words on Here is the foot of a tree. Here is an empty quiet place. Here is a cushion. Brother, why don't you sit down? Sit upright. Sit with some solidity. Sit in peace. Don't let your thoughts lift you up into the air. Sit so that you can really touch the earth and be one with her. You may like to smile, brother. Earth will transmit to you her solidity, her peace, and her joy. With your mindful breathing, with your peaceful smile, you sustain a mudra of earth touching. There were times when you didn't do well sitting on earth, 
but it was as if you were floating in the air. You who used to go in circles in the triple world and be drawn into the ocean of illusion. But earth is always patient and one-hearted. Earth is still waiting for you because earth has been waiting for me during the last trillion lives. That is why she can wait for you for any other length of time. She knows that finally you will come back to her one day. She will welcome you always fresh and green exactly like the first time. Because love never says, this is the last. Because Earth is a loving mother. She will never stop waiting for you. Do you go back to her brother? You will be like that tree. The leaves, the branches and the flowers of your soul will be fresh and green once you enter the mudra of earth touching. The empty path welcomes you, sister, fragrant with grass and little flowers, the path paved with paddy fields, still bearing the marks of your childhood and the fragrance of mother's hand. Walk leisurely, peacefully. Your feet should deeply touch the earth. Don't let your thoughts lift you up into the air, sister. Go back to the path every moment. The path is your dearest friend. She will transmit to you her solidity, her peace. So when you're ready, enjoying a deep cleansing breath, releasing your practice, knowing that this peace, this quiet, this stillness is forever available. Simply turning your attention to the earth, touching the earth, bringing ourselves steady with Mother Earth. Connecting our hearts now. One more deep, even easy breath. And as you release, maybe thanking your body, your heart, your mind, this beautiful group, as you softly open your eyes, seeing yourself as a member of this beautiful circle of compassion. <laughs>